Hi everyone, welcome to another lockdown stitching around the world video. Um, thanks so much for sending them in. Really wonderful to see what you're all doing. And for somebody who works um, at home all their time anyway, pretty well in isolation, um, I'm feeling quite connected to you all. Um, lovely to see the people stitching around the world and what you're doing. So I shall stop talking and I'll hand over to you. I'm Donna from Adelaide and this is the piece that I'm just about to finish. I started it 11 years ago and I think I've got one day left. I finished all the stitching and I'm just embellishing it with some semi-precious stones. And this is... I'm Barbara, her mother, and I'm 90 years old and I've been four and a half years on this and I've nearly finished. I call, it's not the lady in gold, I just call her my dying lady now, I've been on it for so long. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, my name's Amanda and I live in Shropshire. And these are a few things that I've been working on at the moment. While we've been in lockdown. A lot of my work at the moment is based on Indian ideas. I did a wonderful trip at the beginning of the year and saw some fantastic sights. And I've been working on some lovely pieces using block printing first and then adding in some beading and some embroidery. And the main piece I think I'm showing you here, you can see that's a view that we took. And then I'm working this into a bigger piece, um, which as you can see, I haven't quite finished it yet. And I'm not sure what else to add to it at the moment, but um, that just gives you a little bit of an idea of the sort of things that I've been working on at the moment. Hi guys, my name is Cheyenne. I'm in Oklahoma and the United States and I wanted to show you guys the gold work project that I'm working on. Thank you Sarah for the products that I'm using in this and for teaching me how to do this as well as I'm doing it. And uh, I was making this as a donation for the Oklahoma Arthritis Walk at my rheumatologist, but they canceled it this year because of saying that it's gambling, even though we've been doing it for at least 10 years. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this now. Maybe put it in my bathroom. So I hope everybody stays safe and happy during these trying times. Have a good day, guys. Thanks. Bye. Hello, my name is Sandra Jones. I live in Kent. These are two pieces I have just finished. Really pleased with the dragon. My next project is going to be a hummingbird. Hi. I'm Kathy, and I'm from Bentonville, Arkansas in the United States. I started this project on March 3rd and just finished it yesterday. I used a combination of the tent, the goblin, the upright cross, the brick stitch, and my favorite stitch, the Scottish square. I learned all of these stitches by watching Sarah's videos. Just wanted to let everyone know to stay safe and God bless. Hi. This is Joni from Portland, Oregon, and I've been working on a William de Morgan needlepoint kit from Beth Russell. I found it on the sale table at our shop in Portland, and in honor of the Easter season, I thought it would be a fun canvas to tackle. As you can see, it's a bunch of rabbits who are having a great time in the garden. It's all basket weave except for the tail, which is a collection of French knots done with Angora and with Appleton wool. It's been a great stress reliever during these very difficult times and lots of fun to do. Hope you enjoy it. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Hi, everyone. My name's Angela, and I'm from Leicestershire in England. I've had two stitching projects on the go during this lockdown. The first one, I found a cross stitch kit that I've had for a long time and haven't got round to doing it. So I thought this is a great opportunity to get that started. 
And then not long after that, a local lady asked for some local people to help make scrubs for the NHS. So I dug out my sewing machine and I've been stitching scrubs for our local hospital as well. I'll just quickly show you what I've been doing. So these are some of the scrubs I've made that are ready to be taken to the lady down the road. I've just made them out of old sheet. And this is the cross stitch that I found in my cupboard. Um, I fell in love with this a long time ago and just never got around to doing it. So I'm really enjoying doing a bit of cross stitch for some relaxation time. I hope you're all getting on okay with your stitching and I look forward to seeing what everyone else is doing. Hi, my name's Sandra and I'm from Edinburgh in Scotland. So during the lockdown, I decided that I would start to look at all of those kits, the unfinished ones that um, I've done on a course, come home, never managed to finish them. So I'm going to show you a couple that I've just had started to look at today. The first one uh, was one which has been done by three generations of the family. So I'm really pleased that I've managed to get that finished. So this is it. Um, it was started by my great aunt, um, who did about 50% of it. And then um, my mother um, got it and she did uh, about another 40% of it. She used to take it to uh, France when she was on holiday and she'd set out in the sun and do some more stitching. And then after she passed away, I uh, picked it up and felt that really it needed to be finished. So it's been sitting in my stash for a wee while. And um, I have done about 10%, just sort of round about this corner and sort of some of the stuff here. And then I've done the border and the wording along the bottom here. So I'm really pleased to have uh, completed something that's taken three generations to complete. So after that, I then moved on to another thing and I've got a friend who has a birthday this week. And so I found this in my stash, uh, which is an old kit of Sarah's, which I must have had for quite a while. It says 2012 on the uh, leaflet inside. So um, it's just a heart with uh, lots of sequins and a lovely um, shisha mirror on it. So I had the pleasure of being uh, on a holiday in India with uh, Sarah recently and uh, she taught us how to do shisha mirrors amongst other things and I have to confess it took me three attempts uh, to get something even vaguely decent and this is the final uh, object um, which is a uh, lovely uh, full of sequins, looks really lovely. I've cut it out, put it onto some card, put a piece of felt on the back so that it's all neat and tidy and uh, put a ribbon on it. So all I need to do now is get it in the post uh, in time for our birthday. So I hope your stitching's all going well um, too and everybody's keeping safe and uh, bye for now. So they're all amazing and I love hearing the stories um, behind them. It's really great. Um, looks like this is turning into a really good opportunity to dig around in your stash and see what kits that you brought once and got all enthusiastic about and then for some reason they stayed in the bottom of the stash so um, great to see those coming out again and getting finished um, being on display um, I might go and have a look in my own stash see what's hiding away in there so thanks again everybody hope you enjoyed this video um, stay safe um, and carry on stitching bye <laughs>